Welcome to Fairy Tale Story Time as a part of our Imagine Your Story summer reading program. My name is Mary Ann Wright and I'm a 4-H area educator with Lincoln University Cooperative Extension. I, along with the Carothersville Public Library, am excited to bring you today's story. We will be reading Wynetta and the Cornstalk. Now this book is based off of a classic fairy tale, Jack and the Beanstalk, but it has been reimagined in a whole new way, and it takes place in Texas. So let's go ahead and get started. Wynetta and the Cornstalk, a Texas fairy tale, written by Helen Ketteman and illustrated by Diane Greensaid. Once, a whip of a girl named Wynetta lived with her ma on a ranch in the poorest, scrubbiest part of Texas. They worked hard as eight-legged mules, but barely scraped by. One long, dry summer, the well bottomed out, the pastures dried up, and the longhorn cattle got so thin it took three of them standing together to cast a shadow. Wynetta and her mom had to sell off the longhorn until only one was left. Finally, Ma gave up all together. We've run out of money to buy feed, Wynetta. You best sell that last critter for it starves. Wynetta headed out with the longhorn. After a while, she met a stranger. Howdy, missy, he said. Where are you taking that sorry-looking critter? I aim to sell him, Wynetta answered. How's about trading him for a handful of magic corn, asked the stranger. Magic corn, asked Wynetta. What does it do? These corn kernels will bring you good luck, little lady. Well, we sure do need some luck, Wynetta said. It's a deal. When she got home, Wynetta dropped the kernels in Ma's hand. Look, she said with a grin, magic corn. Ma frowned. You must be cockle-headed, girl. The only magic this corn's got is the disappearing kind. She tossed them out the window. Wynetta felt lower than a coyote in canyon. How could she make it up to Ma? The next morning, Wynetta looked out the window. A giant corn stalk blocked the sun. She hurried outside. Well, that looks like magic to me, she said, and I aim to find me some luck. She started climbing. When she broke through the clouds, Wynetta could hardly believe her eyes. There was the biggest ranch she'd ever seen. She walked to the front door. It was so huge she could barely reach over the doorstep. She gathered her courage and she knocked. A giant woman opened the door. Why, you're pretty as a blue bonnet. Where'd you come from? I climbed the giant cornstalk, ma'am, answered Wynetta. The giant woman picked up Wynetta. I reckon you've come to take back the things my husband stole from your ma years ago. She set Wynetta on a giant-sized table. You'd best have a bite to eat. And be careful, darling. My husband's a mean one. Wynetta was chowing down on a great big old chicken fried steak when a loud, angry voice called. Fee, fi, fo, fat. I think I smell a cowgirl brat. Fee, fi, fo, feet. 
chicken fried cowgirl is what I'll eat. Hide, the giant woman whispered. Juanetta hid behind a bowl of beans just as the giant stomped into the room. He yanked open a pantry door. Out strolled a long horn no bigger than a barn cat. He stroked its ear and a golden cow pat fell to the floor. I love gold, the giant shouted. Next, he took out a teeny tiny lariat and whirled it backwards over his head. He looped it around a thimble-sized bucket. I love this rope. It never misses. Finally, he tilted the tiny bucket over a huge tub. Water poured into the tub, filling it. I love that bucket. It never runs out of water. He dropped the rope on the floor, looped the bucket around his pinky, and climbed in the tub to soak. Soon, he fell asleep. Wynetta took a deep breath. With those things and some hard work, Ma and I can make our own luck. Wynetta climbed off the table and tiptoed to the tub. She picked up the lariat and lassoed the longhorn. But when she tried to slip the bucket off the giant's pinky, he woke up. Juanetta hightailed it to the cornstalk and scrambled to the ground where Ma was waiting. Ma gasped. Why, that looks like my little longhorn missing all these years. She rubbed its ear and sure enough, a golden cow pat fell to the ground. It's him, Ma, said Wynetta. Now we can buy a new herd of cattle. Wynetta, darling, said Ma. Sometimes I wonder if that taco brain of yours is a bit short of filling. Gold or no gold, we can't raise cattle without water. That's why I'm going back, Ma to get the magic bucket. Wynetta hid the lariat under her hat and climbed the cornstalk again. The giant's wife let her in. I need that bucket, ma'am, said Wynetta. The giant woman nodded. Be extra careful. My husband's mad as a fire ant. From the hallway, the giant's voice thundered. Fee, fa, fo, fin. I smell that cowgirl brat again. Fee, fa, fo, fix. I'll cook myself some cowgirl grits. As the giant stormed into the kitchen, Wynetta ran right between his boots and grabbed the bucket. Well, if it ain't the seasoning for my grits, shouted the giant. He stomped after her. Wynetta raced to the cornstalk. She was almost there when the giant grabbed her. I feel hungry and you look tasty, he roared. Wynetta whirled the lariat. Do your stuff, rope! She lassoed the giant's nose and tugged hard. Arr! yelled the giant, dropping Wynetta. Wynetta leapt on the cornstalk. The giant climbed after her. Fee, fa, fo, foul. That cowgirl brat has had it now. Fee, fa, fo, foo. That cowgirl's gonna be barbecue. Ma was waiting on the ground with an axe. Rattle your jaw, mister, she shouted. That cowgirl's my daughter. The instant Wynetta left off the cornstalk, Ma swung the axe and in three strong blows chopped the cornstalk down. Thunk! The giant crashed to the ground, making a deep, giant-sized hole. 
Juanetta tipped the bucket over the hole. I hope that giant can swim, she said. And in no time, the hole became a fine lake. With plenty of water, grass grew on the ranch once again. With the golden cow patties, Wynette and her ma bought a new herd of longhorns. As for the giant, he bonked his head so hard in the fall, it knocked the mean right out of him. He and his wife stayed on the ranch and worked alongside Wynette and her ma. And they all lived happy as June bugs ever after. So I hope you enjoyed Juanetta and the Cornstalk. This is a really fun book. And if you've read Jack and the Beanstalk, think about how that story compares to this one. Do you like this new story better? Or are you still a fan of the classic? Tomorrow, we will be continuing our fairy tale week with our take and make activity. So now you can go ahead and head to the library to get your take and make pack. It will include your activity guide sheet as well as a pack of supplies to make your activity. We will be posting a video here tomorrow at one o'clock and we'll go through how to make your own beanstalk in the clouds. So go ahead and grab that and if you haven't signed up for our summer reading hub program yet, do so, so you can make sure that you get all of the updates. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.